evening. Welcome to Celebrating Women in the Community. I'm Jennifer Roscoe. And I'm Jessica Coons. Tonight, we're introducing you to women, both past and present, who have influenced the Central Illinois community and beyond. That's why we start tonight at the University of Illinois' Cranert Center for the Performing Arts. Thousands of people come here to see plays, ballets, and even watch their kids walk across the stage at graduation. But the history goes far beyond that. In 1962, Herman and Elnora Cranert donated to the university to build its first performing arts center. A little bit of Elnora lingers just about everywhere in the building, and it all culminates in her desire to create a space where people could celebrate the arts. We're now moving to another U of I building. Thousands of students live in the dorms on campus. And some of them live in a building named after the first African-American woman to graduate from the U of I. Model Tanner Brown Bousfield was a pioneer in many ways, and now she's inspiring a whole new generation. U of I students living in Bousfield Hall are carrying on the legacy of a woman who led the way in most areas of her life. Residence Hall Director Marlene Smith says it makes her feel at home. I think it's an honor to be able to live in a building um, that's named after an African-American woman. Model Tanner Brown Bousfield came to the U of I in the early 1900s from Missouri. At the time, universities in Missouri weren't integrated, so the state paid for her to go to Illinois instead. For several years, she was the only African-American woman on campus. Alma Celine is the director of University Housing. She was a very accomplished pianist and was actively involved in providing music for many different social events around campus and around the community. And so that's how she made money to pay for her rooming house. Bousfield graduated with honors in 1906. She went on to become a leader in education. She was the first black principal at a Chicago public school. She got her master's at the University of Chicago and was the national president of Alpha Kappa Alpha. The residence hall that's named after her was built a few years ago. It was decided that uh, with a, a committee within University Housing that we would name buildings after individuals who made significant contributions to the University of Illinois. Students said, we like this person, we like this person, we like this person, and so Model Tanner Brown Bousfield was the winner for this particular building. What we have heard from our students of color is that naming a building after an African-American woman um, sends a very clear message that we value them and that, that we try to be as inclusive as possible in our efforts and in our policies and our practices. And even though Bousfield hasn't been on campus for decades, it's clear she's still making an impact. It really empowers me to like kind of keep pushing through, especially when I'm advocating for my black students. Whether they're feeling like they're being racially profiled or even just like struggling with academics and things like that, I'm like, okay, well, Mont Dell was able to do it being the only person here that looked like her. And so I know that I can at least try to advocate for my students. I spoke with Bousfield's grandson. He says his grandmother's passion was always for students and helping them succeed. He says she would be amazed, would love to see how diverse the U of I community is now compared to when she was here. He was so moved by the residence hall being named after his grandmother, he sat down and cried when he found out. He says she would be thankful but humbled by the honor.